I find the total price of a game console that costs fifty-five or five hundred fifty-five dollars with a sixty percent discount. So, if I can figure out the amount of discount, I can subtract it from the five hundred fifty-five. But I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm going to do it that way first. So let's look at it. And I always set this up as a percent proportion. And right here we can see that the percent goes above the 100. And the 555 is the full price or 100% of the price. When I solve this, it's going to tell me how much the discount is off of that 55, a 555, which I will then have to subtract. So if I look at this and solve for x, well, I then would have 60 times 555, and then the other cross would be 100 times x, and 60 times 555. That looks like it's 33,300. Now, that seems like a big number. However, when we divide both sides by the 100, as we should, the hundreds cancel out. I'm left with x, and that would equal, I can just cross out the two zeros, and I have 333. Now this isn't the final price, this is the amount of the discount that we're going to take off of that 555. So I need to take 555 minus 333. And as we can see, that would be $222 from the work right there. So the final price of this game console would be about, well, it would be $222 without tax right there. Now there's another way to do this. So if we look at the total price of the game console, it cost $5.55 with a 60% discount. What that means is that we're going to end up paying 40% of the original price. So in the percent proportion, I still have it out of 100, but instead of using 60%, I'm going to use 40. And again, the whole price would be $5.55. And if we solve, we're going to solve directly for the final price or total price of the game console with the discount. So to do that, I, again, I'm going to use cross multiplication, 40 times 555, and that gives me 22,200 equals 100x from the other cross right here. Now, to solve this one, all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 100 to get rid of the coefficient of x, which gives me x equals, and we're canceling out zeros there, and we have $222, which we've already found to be the final price anyways. So here's the word from that, and it shows both ways, whether you want to find the discount and take it off the original price, or if you want to solve for the total price directly.